Today we're going to have a look at Simbrief. It's a wonderful website that generates flight plans automatically for you that can then be imported into the various flight simulators. So X-Plane, Flight Sim 2020, um, FSX, Prepare3D, any of them. Uh, you'll see in a moment how you can export the flight plans it generates. The wonderful thing it does is generates a full flight plan exactly the same as a real pilot would take onto a big jet like a 737 or a 747. It, it can do general aviation plans as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you logged into Simbrief, it's free to join by the way, is you will go to Dispatch and you can set up your fleet of aircraft. So if I look in my fleet I can see various aircraft that I have configured that correspond with the ones that are in the various simulators. So I, you can see here, I didn't put a comment against this one. So this is a 747-400. And I know that refers to the stock one in X-Plane. So it's the X-Plane one. I'll just leave that as a small comment on it so I know which one it's referring to. So now if I go and look at um, my fleet again I can see at a glance which aircraft each one refers to so you're typically you, you can obviously you can go and make new airframes when you do make a new one you tell it the aircraft type and that pre-fills all of the performance data for the aircraft for you because the system knows about all of the common types so there's there's lots and lots and lots in here so if we go back to my fleet so that's how you would get your aircraft in. You just make a new airframe to, to describe one you've got. Obviously it pays to go into the simulator first to find out the registration number of the airframe. And it makes it dead easy when you're making your flight plan to know exactly which aircraft you're talking about. So what's the next thing you will do? We'll go back to the dispatch menu. Let's go and make a flight. So new flight. This is remarkably straightforward. We're going to choose an airline, so BAW would be British Airways for example. You can just type in the um, the airline code in here. Flight number, we'll just type 123. The departure airport, so we'll take off from Stansted, so EGSS. We'll go to Edinburgh, oh no, Ento, let's go to Ento which would be Sandefjord in Norway. Um, we can have an alternate as well, so if we can't get to ENTO, it's already picked an alternate of ENGM. We can figure out that when we look on the flight plan. We can tell it what day we're taking off and what time we're want looking to take off. So let's say we're going to do a... we're aiming to take off at 8 o'clock this evening. Now we can choose the aircraft. So again, we can either just choose a type or we can choose an exact one from our fleet of aircraft. So we're going to go for the Zebo 737-800. Or actually, no, let's go for the flight sim stock 747, which I've already got saved here. So again, you can pretty much leave everything else alone. So it has figured out automatically the route through the waypoints. We can go and view that if we want, so we can analyze route. It's already said it's already um, a valid route for AIRAC 1903. What that means is the version of the nav data that's on your aircraft. You will generally find the simulators are much newer than this, so the older waypoints should still work. So if you want to make a custom route, you can. So you can go and put in the various waypoints you want to use and SIDs and stars and things. You just type them in. And you get a preview immediately of what it's going to look like. OK, so it's showing you taking off from EGSS. It's plotted all the waypoints along the way. Oops. So if I scroll back up and I want to generate the OFP, that's the flight plan, essentially. So let's go for it. Are you, want, are you sure you wish to generate this flight plan? Yes, I am. So give it a few seconds and it builds everything for us. And we end up with a fantastic flight plan. So we can, just to make this more interesting, we're going to take this straight out to PDF. So again, it's popped open a new tab in the browser. And we get a printable flight plan that's exactly like the real ones that the pilots take onto the aircraft. 
that tells you absolutely everything. Any notices to airmen, all the weather at the, the um, departure and destination airports, all the winds aloft, clouds, everything. Instructions for various types of events that might be happening in the airspace. It's absolutely fantastic. So you can see it goes on for pages and pages. There's even COVID information in here at the moment. So yeah, stunning. So we can keep going and keep going and keep going, but eventually, further down the flight plan, I think it's in this, yeah, you get the maps. So you get, not just that, you get the wind maps of what you should be experiencing along the way. You get the elevation maps and then the end of the document. So it's absolutely a fantastic way to make a, a, a pack that you can take onto the aircraft with you. Obviously, if you're using something like the Zebo mod, you can put this PDF in the correct folder in your file system and you can see it while you're inside the aircraft as a, on, on the tablet inside the cockpit. So hopefully Flight Sim will come out with something like that soon too. But I think that's a fantastic way of being able to see what you're doing. Um, of course, the other reason to do this, to generate a, a flight plan, is you can then download the flight plan. So I'm going to download the FMS file. Download now. And we should be able to just say, the simply flight, it's asking us if we want to install a piece of software, which we don't want to actually bother with. Let's go back to here. Oh, that's sorry. The download now button I clicked on was for the sim brief downloader. <laughs> Just shows I got caught. So here we go. Uh, we can also pre-file the plan onto one of the networks like VATSIM if we wanted to. Um, let's have a look. If I scroll back up. Can we not do a direct download of the plan? Is it going to force us to use this? Oh, here we go. Download files manually instead. Don't show this again. So here we go. It lets you download the flight plan in a number of common formats. So you'll typically, to get something, let's go and have a look in Flight Simulator. If we go in here and we said we were going to use the 747, didn't we? So let's go and choose the 747. So we'll scroll through. We want the 747. And we can load the flight plan in. So load. Now what will FlightSim accept? Either an FLT file or a PLN file. So we'll cancel out of there for the moment. We'll tab back into SimBrief. So we want... Has it got Flight Simulator listed yet? Microsoft, it'd either be FSX probably would work. I don't think it's got MSFS listed yet, has it? No, it wouldn't be listed under a Sobo Microsoft Flight Simulator, would it? No. Um, okay, so let's go for just an FSX PLN file. FSX stroke P3D. Oh, look, FS2020, there it is. Flight Sim 2020. So download. So I've now got the EGSS ENTO MFS 140 PLN file in my downloads directory. So if I go back into Flight Sim and I load and load and I look in my downloads folder and there's the EGSS. Uh, is it going to let me do that? It's thinking. Ah, there it comes. It just took a while. So there's our flight plan loaded into Flight Simulator. So that will be in the FMC within the 747 when we load up. So I just think this is a wonderful way of planning flights really quickly. And that was using a website called SimBrief. And you can save your flights in it, you can save your flight plans. And you can export them as PDF, you can take them straight into the simulator. And it takes all the pain out of doing long routes. So it's going to figure out the best route based on commercial routes, basically. So I think it's a really fantastic way to work. Okay, so there you go. That was SimBrief.